York live with our final game of the finals. The finals. So this will be it. First match of finals. Yeah. So, again, these players are playing mainly for pride, honor, um, not to be last place. Bragging rights. Bragging rights. Um, that's about it. So usually we play King of the Hills, our last map, and that's what we're seeing out of here. Um, we'll see what these teams bring to the uh, King of the Hill arena here. Um, yeah, sometimes they mix it up, sometimes they don't. Time will tell. Nepal, another fun map. Really looks like an RTS from above there. Oh yeah, you can really kind of get up high there, you know. Let's see what we're working with. All right, so we're gonna see if these teams are gonna to opt to take control of the upper portion there. Without a Rhine, that can be pretty dangerous. Angelos might opt for it, I doubt Ruby will. It looks like they're already going down. We've seen Shock and Awe and that Farah. And we actually were running a pharmacy between uh, Shock and Awe and Shao Tzu. There we go, my favorite combo. This is the first Farah we've seen so far, which is actually fairly unique because we see, we're going to be seeing a lot of Farrah really soon. Yeah, next lineup we're going to see a lot of Farrah going on. You can see him already starting to push in. SJ Ripper though picks up Shoutso, which means that Team Ruby is going to really start collapsing here. Jade should be able to pick up this point pretty easily. And they picked another. Yeah, it looks like Jade is going to start out with a demanding lead here. I don't know if Ruby retreated quick enough there. I felt like they could have salvaged a little bit. Hard to tell. I guess. At some point, though, I mean, it is hard to know what to do with people falling. Once they lost, I mean, the power of the pharmacy, that was very hard to deal with. Yeah. So we're going to see what they're able to do here. Ruby's contesting the front gate there. They do have a very divey type setup, which is pretty good for King of the Hill. Um, they did a good job of slowly working it on that left side there. Decker in, uh, Decker in, coming around the back side there. Oh, and Hawk missed right a couple in. shots, and Hawk just cleaning up that back line. Really working on that Mercy. Wow. Isn't able to do much to defend herself, and Team Ruby's falling apart again. They're going to need need a, a nice counter to that Genji, I feel. Yes. I think uh, one thing that's very interesting is um, we don't see Shoutso on heels very often. Well, I guess, well, we saw Shock and on Loth, but Shoutso's played very well on those flanky Genji, um, Roadhog type oh, yeah. heroes. Ooh, big deflect. Oh, Hawk just goes in face first. I didn't even think he. Whoa! Ruby's not gonna make it out of this one. Happening? <laughs> no, no, they are not. Wow. Think about the first game of the day here, and what we saw. Because this was the opposite. Yeah. Team Ruby walked right through Jade. I'm not even know if they're gonna be able to contest the point at the. I don't think anyone in that team has stepped foot on the point yet. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Oh, and a big all coming there. Yeah, completely Angelus prevented. Again. Wow. Hawk is really dialed in here, and there you go. That's the first time a player has stepped on the point so far yeah. from Team Ruby. That was rough. I don't know. I don't know what more to say. I think uh, the chat uh, matched it up there. Very savage. All right, you're seeing some switches here. Shout so running over to that Roadhog. That's what they're probably thinking is what's going to help deal with Genji. Yep. And I, and I agree. Shouto has been on with these hooks. He's a proven hook, hook maker. Oh yeah. Will. Been collecting the enemy. So oh, yeah. I expect to see him making some uneven battles. Could push him in the right direction. We've we haven't seen a whole lot out of Tremulous. Tremulous is the kind of Genji counter potentially, and can really do a lot of work there. Yeah. And uh, we just haven't seen it. But between Roadhog and. Winston, we're hoping that the Genji is not going to be able to make much happen there. This kind of triple we'll see what tank happens. build. Yeah. So we already see the Genji working around that right hand side there. As we said before, that's Hawk. Yep, the current already picking up a point here, and it looks like Team Ruby's already starting with the advantage here. Law opting for the Ana play, which again is very new. Yeah. 
Look at that. Hawk just zipping and zagging, but he's at 30%. It's just gonna take a little push, and Ruby caps the point, but Hawk stays up. This is gonna be scary for them. Ooh. Well, they managed enough to scare him off this time, so. Yeah, it looks like this time, you know, you didn't need to kill everybody, you just needed to keep him off the point. Mm -hmm. See Team Jade's hot. Ooh! Bouncer with a nice grab there. Jeez. Yeah, these flankers are going to have a lot of trouble dealing with these uh, heroes yeah. right here. And I said grab. I need to say hook. It's, it's, he's not grabbing him for a hug. That is true. Oh. Ooh, ult comes out. Really stops Hawk from doing a whole lot with his ult yeah. there. And Yugs really nicely. Run on Ryan Prime again. There we go. Ooh, but that, these ults are just coming out at the exact right time to keep these players up. Team Jade is going to be able to pick this up here. Wow, nice work, Jade. So Team Jade's got an interesting uh, setup here. We've got some really soft flanking as their only DPS. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are not too, uh, not really just liking Reaper, but Reaper is a hero that can really deal well with these flankers, if you already got a Roadhog, you know, part of me wonders, do you get rid of Tremulus and put him in as Reaper if he can play it, you know? A couple shots on a Tracer. Yeah, I feel like that would fare a little better than uh, than Winston right now. Especially, look at that, he's already in their faces. Yeah. Just hard to deal with, but they quickly pick him up. Oh, and Ruby bounces right back here. Yep, there. Yeah, I think we were wrong with that. Tra I think Tremulous on the Winston's doing well. I mean, he's already an aggressive, uh, aggressive tank player. I think Winston fits his play style well. That's true. What you notice is when the flankers distance themselves too much and overextend, they completely fall apart. Mm -hmm. When the flankers are part of the team moving up, it scatters Ruby's backline, and they're totally done. Ooh, Ooh, the burn gets one on the dead eye. That's one of the very crucial. Gonna be enough. A little bit of potential overextending with the ult, maybe not. Should be able to pick up the Zarya very easily. And Team Ruby's looking to hold on to this point here. Yeah, Jade better recollect them quickly here. They're fastly approaching the 90% here. Yeah, this is gonna be their last push coming in here. We're gonna see Angelo's probably gonna get ready for a big ult here. See if he can get in there, do something. Ooh, oh, the gets picked up. But Yugs gets knocked down, and Angelo still has his ult. And he's charged up, and his hammer down comes. It's picked up, but he's still able to pick up Tremulous, who is ulted. It's a big, angry monkey. Shots him. Look at that. Picking him up off the corners wow. there. I don't know. This is very close. I heard that shock and awe drop that ult as well, and Shoutso tries to push him off, but not, not happening. Looks like Jade might be able to pick this up. Ooh, but a lot of back and forth there. Jade? I mean, Jade's still, I mean, they're both, at this point, it looks like it's almost anyone's point. Really great heals here, keeping everybody up. Nice, nice shield there by, by Tremulous. Winston the keeping everybody alive, and we got the ult from Nirazari. Yeah, that's gonna lock it in here. Ruby's probably gonna pull back, regroup. Or will they? Shouts out, being tricky, and you see Tremulous there around the outside, grabbing the healing, retreating back along with the team. You can see Team Ruby starting to recollect themselves to the front there, looking to get one of these flankers out of position. Mm -hmm. uh, Shouts out gets the Zarya, not going to be enough. Alt comes down, counter alt, kicks up way more. Angelos. Great work, but they're two for two right now. Angelos' back is exposed. Oh, his whole body's exposed. He was done. <laughs> That's shout so Let's see if he can make a hook happen. Ooh, the current opt-in for that tracer play really worked out well. They're looking to stagger Hawk as he's running up there. Not going to be enough. Wow. Great play out of uh, Ruby there to really capture the point back after that first yeah. collapse. It's a really good way to adapt. When we talk about fatigue in games, they definitely proved otherwise. It's very nice. Yeah, they know this is their last game of season two. Yep. They're this is gonna depend on if they're the last place in the league or third place. So people aren't afraid to make those changes on those teams where they need it. Alright, here we go. We got symmetric. I think we're Maybe. just gonna see a basket. Oh. Oh come on, drop that in there. 
Drop oh. that in there. Oh! We should give it a. We should give my uh, Overwatch Chicago vinyl just for that. Basketball. Match? Yeah. A real basketball. Or a real basketball. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is uh, a, this is honestly one of my favorite maps. I'm surprised that uh, we're not seeing shock uh, shock at all on Farah for this because he does yeah. really well at those environmental kills. This is interesting though. Yug's really out of position here. He needs to be up there with uh, his team. Yeah, he is not helping the team there. His friend, I mean, he has no all coming around back like that. He's not going to do anything. Nah, he's isolated from the team right here. He goes yeah, yeah, down. He gets punished for it. Team J's definitely gonna pick up that point. Yeah. You can't have your rhyme be separated from your team like this. Wonder what happened there. Maybe a little miscommunication. He's not the one you want to send on the flank mission. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. I think he might have been getting the message that we're going straight to point, and, and yeah. they, the rest of the team didn't follow along. Uh, Either way. Jade picks up the first 10% and takes a very uh, different position there, deciding to give up the point and pretty interesting. You come back around and push in again? Yeah, I mean, it kind of gives you some high ground advantage, force them to play on the point. Charge up some... those alts a little bit. Great job, one for one right oh, here. Nice. Isn't able to get the shield down, which means that I think Team Jade's not going to be able to hold on to this point, but with Hawk in the back there. Ooh. Ooh. Hawk, Hawk nice, nice pickoffs there. This looks like it's going to remain Jade's point. Wow. They're kind of letting Loth survive there a little bit to stagger him, which is uh, going to hurt Team Ruby here. It's actually a pretty good point you don't hear a lot of is that, you know, if you got that one lingering player, you know you're going to take him out. Hold off a little bit. Yeah, especially when you know that there's nothing that they can do. Yeah. Um, he's in the corner. You can kill him whenever you want to. The longer he lives, the longer the stagger is. Like a cat playing with its prey. That's deep. We're going to see an ult potentially out of Shoutso here to try and get back in control. See the current opted for that Reaper play. I do, I'm curious to see if that's going to pay off for him. Oh, a hammer down there by Angelo. The misses. Angelo's starting to go down, but Nerazuri keeping him up again, though. Not, I don't know if this is going to pay off for him. Team Ruby might be able to pick up this point. Oh, Angelo is being a little aggressive there without the rest of his team behind him. Big all there, two kills from our DPS Lucio. Wow. Ruby's starting to draw a little bit of blood on this point here at 90% Team J. Ooh, picks up the current. He's going to be able to pick up Shoutso. Team J's got advantage. Hughes again out of position, though. That's not good for him either. Wow. Team J's going to recap this right away. Oh! Looks like it's going to be Team Jade on the second Hawk point. Hawk is our, our flex player of the game, now dude with the Roadhog. Walt coming out of the Zarya, points ticking away. Ooh, kind of and... Oh, wow. The wow. current four kills, but isn't enough. Very close. That could have been wow. flip right there. We're looking at a Team Jade win here, potentially. I think, what was the, what did these games end up last time? Was it Jade up 2-1, I think? It was. Yeah, Jade won last week, so we might see a replay. So we'll see, yeah, this yeah. is an uh, opportunity for Jade to reaffirm that they are the better team. But, uh, you know, Ruby has made some big changes here. I think with Shotso on Roadhog, they do tend to do better. Um, yeah, I think that was pretty evident with the last, uh, last map. The current opting for the Soldier, I think with uh, Hawk off of Genji, that's a smart play, but here we go. We're contesting already at the front. Back to we got back that. kills, and it's hard to tell who's ahead right here, but it looks like Team Ruby might be the ones that are going to take over this point in the beginning. Well, it seems like Ruby actually got there first and then held it right in the middle front. They didn't bother flanking to the side. They managed to capture the point first, which is going to be uh, important for them, but you can see SJ Ripper coming in behind. Ooh, Ooh isn't able to pick it up. Loft takes him out, but the rest of the team starts to collapse on top of him. It looks like Team Onyx is going to be able to pick this point up now. Loft is at eight. Ah. Yeah, 
it can definitely be scary if you're trying to contest with just a little bit of help. Ooh, Shelto got grabbed. Wow. Picked up a little bit of his own medicine there. Wow. You know, you notice with Hawk on uh, Roadhog, he's really able to take advantage of Shelto's out of position plays, um, which he does need to start being careful of. Because yes. Hawk's catching him out on that. Dekurin doing a very good job there again of being at a higher ground, getting a good vantage point. Hawk though is ready for him. Misses the hook. Ooh, all comes down, Angelos, but with loss alts up, it's not gonna do a whole lot. No, it looks like they're gonna Two make support it. alts come down. Alts just left and right, but the supports are keeping them up. We've got an alt out of Jade here. Catching a lot of them, and Hawk is just cleaning them up out of that gravity. Wow. Jade made some pretty good change-ups. Yes, I think that uh, the consistency that came out of the the Roadhog really is, is paying off. The shots are now opting for uh, Genji of his own. We saw him switch, make a switch actually on the last map on Ilios when he played with his team before. Ooh, saw another hook there to Curran, got picked up by Hawk. Starting to see this Ruby team stagger hard on the map. I mean, you see them kind of all over the place. Oh, They're not geez, respecting their, their teammates very much. Ooh, that's really good. He's just got to be able to get out of here, deal with this hog. Got his ult up. He isn't able to get anybody. But Tremulus almost gets back into Mac, but does it, which is going to be really hard for them to do much anything here. they got to regroup if they want to have a chance to hold this point with 20% left. Got to get out of there, huge. Back it up, buddy. Salvage it, Eugs. Logs up. Loth is way out of position. Oh, Ruby's, Ruby, this is all they got right now. You have Angelos' all. Oh no, that's the other team's all. Ooh, with Yugs going down, but it's for SA Ripper. Turned it as much as he can. Just missing that ult by Angelos. Wow. And it looks like Jade's solidly taking this point. Yeah. And it looks like oh. Loth trying to stick it around here. A couple of, couple of Hail Marys there. I just don't think it's going to pay off here. It looks like Jade's going to be walking away yeah. at the win. Oof. Nice play out of Jade here. So they secure themselves as our third place team. All right. Uh, following back-to-back -back victories here. Yeah, very nice. Congratulations, Team Jade. And we got Hawk here. Another great Genji play. Another great play. Really good deflect there, just bouncing around, up, got that help, perfect. And with the help of Zaldar, our Zarya goes for the win. Very nice. Well, congrats Team Jade, we are running right on schedule. Yes. So we're going to have a, a quick break here before we jump into our grand finals. So we've got uh, Sapphire and Onyx battling for first place, yes. uh, both of which I believe had the same amount of points regular season uh, with five points apiece, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. So that will be good to see. Uh, I'm just going to switch cam here real quick. We're going to actually take a quick break, talk to our players. We'll be back to introduce our next set. Yep. All right.